Jesus. For your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence. By your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Praise the Lord. Greet your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you are welcome in the presence of God. Greet your neighbor well, well. Say, neighbor, neighbor. you are welcome, you are welcome. In, the in the presence of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 12, we are still on the same, you know, journey, the message from the throne of mercy. Chapter 12, verse 2. I will take you again to First Thessalonians, chapter 1, I'm sure I'm let me first read this one. You know that when you were pagans, somehow others were influenced and led astray to a mute idols, meaning before you became born again, something was, you know, leading your life. Before, not now. This is the question that, you know, I've been asking myself. If someone is telling me that I was born again in 1972 and is still, you know, I I gossiping, fighting, what kind of born again is this? Does it mean there are two types of born again? But the answer is no. The Bible says before, because by then you were pagans or heathens. You were influenced by these idols. Remember what I've been saying. What can destroy you is evil spirit. What can save your life is Holy Spirit. What can destroy you is evil spirit. Even those who are watching this program, let me acknowledge your presence, please. Know for sure that what can destroy your life, what can afflict your body, is evil spirit. And what can give you breakthrough, healing or deliverance, is Holy Spirit. Now, before you become born again, because by then you were living according to the standard of this world, you thought this is the way of life. I, I can live, you know, according to my thoughts, according to what... I learn from people, let me live because it's my life. And the greatest gift that God gave to human beings is choice. You can choose to be good or bad. You can choose to, you know, to drink beer or remain at home while others are going to church. Praise the Lord. Verse 3, therefore, I want you to know that no one who is speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus be cursed. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. What does it mean to you as a Christian of God? I mean, as, as a Christian? If you cannot say Jesus is Lord, the Bible says that except by what? The Holy Spirit. Is it possible that you can pray without the Holy Spirit? Come on, children of God. Is it possible that you can pray if the Bible says that no one can say Jesus is Lord except by what? So is it possible that you can pray without the Holy Spirit? The answer is there with you. So the Jesus that we confess 
without the Holy Spirit is a fake Jesus. I mean, if you say Jesus is your father, not by the Spirit of God because your voice is coming out, you are just talking to yourself. I want you, not, I want you to know something. Because Christians, I mean, the work of God has been reduced to human knowledge. The capacity of believing or keeping the word of God in human beings' heart is not there. Unless if the spirit of God is. That's why you see me always I say, give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your word. When you lead, the word must lead you to the Holy Spirit. And there you remain in the presence of God. Even at home, because you are a child of God. You remain in the presence of God. Come on, people of God. Let me take you back again to this one. Therefore, I want you to know that no one who is speaking by the Spirit of God say, Jesus be cursed. Is there anyone here who can say Jesus be cursed? No. But your action, your what? Because as long as Jesus is not part of your life, you can confess Jesus inside the church. What about after church service? No one can say Jesus be cursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Leading this passage is very easy. Understanding the language is very easy. Leading the passage, anyone can read. As long as you have been to school, you can read. As long as you understand English, you can read and interpret the language. What about the deep meaning of the word of God? Who can interpret that one? He said, well, that's why you see people preaching the word of God and yet they are not even qualified to carry the Bible. Because what you are carrying physically is language. You cannot carry the Holy Bible without what? The Holy Spirit. Go to a witch doctor. You find the Bible there. Someone who is, you know, worshipping Satan. You find Bible there. And they will tell you, to bomba fenalesa. E wat pere fifi avupe. E mu kwa iba dofte cho tishile. Tamuwe nene chipingwe cho chili hapo. Awo na chimo nero nchingire tena chimono mwana tuafika. Mwana na wako alesa. Because ulefu wa wakuso very problem. Kwa mbo kwa fiko wabu wana wako alesa wabu tabakwete. Anyone can carry this Bible. You can enter the house of God. After the church service is over, you go home. You beat your wife or you beat your children mercilessly without even caring. Why? You cannot control your spiritual life using your mind. Let's continue. Except by what? If you say you are a pastor, you are a bishop, you are what? Follow me now. Therefore, this is verse 4. There are different kinds of what gifts, but the same spirit distributes them. Different what? Do you know that there are people who can preach and people will be, you know, receiving deliverance and healing? Do you know that? If it is by what? The spirit of God. Others can preach. There are others who can prophesy. Today, everyone wants to be a prophet. Everyone wants to be an apostle. Is it by the Holy Spirit? Or you admire the gift of the Holy Spirit? There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. Therefore, different kinds of service, but the same, the same Lord. This is verse 6. There are different kinds of working. But in all of them, and in everyone, it is the same God at work. This now reminds me what I said last week. I was talking to the brother here. I said, if my brother here is led by the Holy Spirit, 
Anything that will come out of his mouth, the spirit of God in me, who is leading the brother, who confirmed it, yes, it's me using him. If it is not the Holy Spirit, we are going to defy. I said, no, what he's saying is not true. It's not true. We argue on the base of what? Human capacity, not on the base of the Holy Spirit. Because as long as you cannot understand what is coming out of the mouth of that brother, whether it is from the Holy Spirit or from his mind, your answer will be according to your thinking and according to what you know about the Bible. So that you please your people to say, yes, he knows something. And yet, you knew nothing about the things of the Spirit. But I want you to swallow this word. For you to say Jesus, the Bible says, accept by what? Ah, you are not there. Accept by what? So when you pray, if the Holy Spirit is not the one who is praying in you, you are talking to the air. Follow me. This is verse 7. Now, to each one, to each one, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is given for the common good. To each one, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is given or was given for the common what? Good. What does it mean? Because of salvation, my brother can prophesy. My brother can preach. My sister can visit. It. Anyone can do that work as long as it is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit for one common good. That is salvation. The purpose of the church is what? Salvation. Why are we fighting? It's because the Spirit of God is not in charge. It is our minds that are in charge. How many times do you confess Jesus when you are praying? Can I see your hand? How many times when you are praying? How many times do you mention Jesus? Hmm? Ah, you can't even answer that one. A simple question. You start your prayer with Jesus. You end your prayer with what? We are used now to this name. We don't know whether the name is carrying power or not. As long as it is not by the Spirit of God. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is given for the common good. That is salvation. That is what? Salvation. Anything that you are doing in the house of God, as long as it is not the Holy Spirit, Mukaleka. Mukashtashan. Mukaleka. Ngatempa shule itashan. Mukaleka. We have seen people. Abalesh Mikile Chewo today, they are born back to drink water. Because very fair inspired. Over Sangiru Epofie. You know, Gole Sangwano Muntu, if you are Chitapion, say, Naoka Ramonokwana can Mufiri Musa, Tiri Muriwe. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit is given to each and every one of them to go and preach in a different way. Today, we pray not according to the Holy Spirit, according to our feelings. You know feelings can mislead you. Do you know that? Feelings can do what? When things are moving, you know, money is there, everything is okay. You, you may feel like the Holy Spirit is in you. Because of that joy. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit. Not, not Holy Spirit. He's happy or she's happy that I've got money now. More special, you enter the church, then you see a message. Tin, tin, tin. 100,000. Mufoni. It doesn't mean that the Holy Spirit is praying in you. It is 100,000 praying. Nanguru mbofel waisa. Papa, ina fiyo ngupu hape. Papaezi vale kokola. Ina mpua na nabashani. It's 100,000 at work. Or maybe in 
kunchi to bali michisa suspend kunchi to elo mulenji na fe mwa pokerela message kwati tomorrow report for work ah nabale mbapo na moto ka uke sesenda nenchi na nguchupo kuti wakana kupepe misango yonse filia fine mwari akano if you mori nelelo ah it's not holy spirit is marriage praying is job now doing what praying the spirit of god can pray even when things are not okay physically you can still shimuna your father in heaven situation is bad you look here you look there problems but the spirit of god in you is a free spirit he can pray and pray and you dance and dance Palandro jina ba kulembera message ilo wingire pale ati ulensa nga packet or else ule alala muchimu tire message ya chirira ya pisa pala pa kuingira without the holy spirit can you pray eh na ngwaba lume ba mitumina message mule ingira ati oh so now we have change we kale no ko queen elo ni chimwa ribe shibe fyo ba banga balanda Can you pray? No. If possible, you can even read the church. But if the Holy Spirit is in you, you can still stand and say Jesus, you are my father. The Holy Spirit will minister to Jesus is your father. Fear no one. God owns every man's heart. Who is that landlord? Who is that your husband? He is under my power. You dance like never before. You dance all kinds of dance. All kinds and yet never kusoka. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot dance. You cannot do what? Dance. But with 100,000 pium pium pium. You can dance. Smile throughout the, the service. No kwika late tumwika le poem. Kisha bantu bali shebule Sophia Wamba, uri munche ndianga ya palanga tuno na wikala. Miande zauza ndi lela nda mwe wakongeresha. Next time you see them sitting down, remind them to say ah, you are sitting down, you are in the ah, ye ufo kuna kalelo. Naipwa. Nice session. That is human being. There is a level that you can use your effort, that you can use your energy. When you reach there, you can't go beyond that level. You get tired. But the Holy Spirit is unstoppable, is unquestionable. You don't know the meaning of this word, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the source of your life. You were created by His power. Nangubalanda tifin tufiari onai kamuisa. Mukati umu, imwe maota mwakafia lepo, imwe tatata muliwa ntu. Mupashinga ingila, nishama laiti ya kamumuhidi. Tapali nchifuwa mupashinga waitashani. Nga wa ingila, fiyonse fila wa active. That is life now. But take note of this word. Swallow this one. Nangundande finti filishani hapa, swallow this one. No one can say Jesus is Lord, except by the holy spirit so when you pray in the name of jesus as long as it is not through the holy spirit you are wasting your time jesus cannot hear you without the holy spirit god almighty cannot hear you without the holy spirit how many people are praying today without hearing from god uncountable okay let me take you you go and finish this one let me take you to thessalonians First Thessalonians. L listen to this. In chapter one, verse four. You can lead up to verse nine, but I want to lead four and five. Okay, and six. 
For we know, brothers and sisters, loved by God, that he has chosen you. Five. Because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with the power, with the Holy what? The Holy Spirit. And deep conviction. You know how we lived among you for your sake. What made these apostles to live up to that level is because of the Holy Spirit. They are telling you that this word, there is no way you can carry the word without power. It's not completely. It's not completely. I hope you are getting the point. You are loved by God and chosen by God. Our gospel came not simply with words, but also with power, with the Holy Spirit. And deep conviction. So if you carry the Bible and you think that it is enough, no. Carry these two, Holy Spirit and the Bible. The interpreter. You know what we are lacking is understanding. You cannot understand this word with this mind. Because original power, you are living in fear. You are faking Christianity because it is very easy to say, I'm a child of God. I was born again in 19, uh, when uh, evangelist uh, so, and so and so was preaching. That's when, you know, the day, I, I mean, I surrendered my life to Christ. And yet, you are not a born again Christian. You are a member of the church. You are a member of what? Make no mistake. To be a member of the church doesn't mean that you are a child of God. No. A child of God is someone who is calling the word of God and the spirit in his heart. A member of the church is someone who is affiliated to that board or that organization. So make no mistake. If you say you are a child of God, you are a child of God by power. The sign that this one is a child of God is power. Can you imagine where a Christian will leave the church to go and see a witch doctor? Where a Christian who refuse to go for prayers, privately you go and visit a witch doctor, and then you are claiming yourself to be a child of God. You are not a child of God. You are faking Christianity. You are destroying yourself, and you are destroying those people who are very close to you, who are able to see your activities. It's like you are training them that even if you are a child of God, which doctors are part of Christianity, which is not true. They worship Satan. They cannot be part of Christianity. Now, because you are faking Christianity, you are carrying the Bible. You see, it's very easy to preach, to quote the scriptures. without the Satan I will attack you spiritually. Let me say I will continue quoting scriptures. If not, you will learn to which doctors. Jesus' power is superpower. Greater than all the powers here on earth and beyond the earth. The only problem which is there is that we are not serious. Christians, we are not serious. We are good in talking. When it comes to obedience, it is zero percent. This is my message as we are getting closer to the end of the year. 
No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the power of the Holy Spirit. How many times? You mention Jesus uncountable times, even this morning, but not by the power of the Holy Spirit. And yet, the other side, the enemy of your life, the enemy of salvation, they are using evil power. You are using your voice. Can you fight them? The answer is no. You can't fight. They are in the spirit, you are in the flesh. And you are depending so much on this mind. Even if you are a professor, you are a human being. They will bury you as a professor physically. What about spiritually? They will bury you as an accountant. According to the family history. What about spiritually? We need the spirit of God to dwell in us. If they call you a healer here on earth. Are you a healer there in heaven? There is life after this life. What can destroy human beings is evil spirit. What can save human beings is Holy Spirit. Reading the Bible is good. But without the Holy Spirit, you can read the Bible after finishing, you go and smoke or drink or do bad things. Which is not proper. Let the Spirit of God lead you. When you are reading the Bible, you pray, Father, as I set my eyes unto your words, let your Spirit set his eyes unto my heart. You are reading the Bible, the Holy Spirit is reading your heart. Look at that combination. You are reading what? It's like you are feeding your, your heart. What is you see with your eyes is going direct to your heart. Because the spirit of, if you say, let your Holy Spirit lead my heart as I lead your word. As long as you are a child of God, it may sound so simple, but very powerful. You'll be leading the word, the Holy Spirit will be leading your heart. There will be no fear, no vacuum, no place for evil activities. You'll be filled with power. You, you see me and Mukatifi want to attack. Would you move by Shule Pepper back with our pastor Parifo and therefore come here? Taparifo and Jishibanga Manjevo, Mpashna wish you up of him. Mpashna wish I shan. Simple. Are you a child of God by power or by membership? Because all what you want is people to know you that you are a child of God. And you are forgetting that it is only God or mind that you need to confirm me that yes, this one is my daughter or my son. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you saying Jesus is Lord by the power of the Holy Spirit? Hmm? It is easy to say yes, but you have never experienced, uh, you know, the power of God, except it is, you know, Python from your forefathers. Every night they'll come to your room. They'll bring chicken, they'll bring this, they'll, all kinds of rubbish to rubbish your blood. When you wake up, fish, fish, if you if you Like you are inside. You are insulting Satan. He's looking at you to say, this one is insulting me. And he's not even carrying the power of the, the one they are calling from above. You meet me at your place. Remember, what made David to be a great king is the power of God. David swallows his elder brothers. It was only David who was known all over the world. Not even the first son of Jesse. Not even one of them except the smallest. He became the great king because of what? The power of God.
Why are you forcing yourself to be a child of God without his power? We can pray. Our problem is not in the flesh, it's in the spirit. If the spirit of God cannot respond to our cry, we are putting more fire where there is fire already. Because we are provoking the situation. Today, it is very difficult to identify who is a satanist and who is a child of God. A satanist can identify you. A Christian cannot identify a witch or a, it's a guesswork. That is confusion. There you see solution in the family. As long as you can't see solution, whatever you are saying, you are just creating confusion within the family. Let the spirit of God lead your life. Guide your life. Control your life. And protect your life. You will never go wrong. I say you will never go wrong. Ushe peni nga chaka ripisha. Mwewa landati muliba naba kwa lesa. Mula shipikisha. Chaka ripafila tulanda mchila mbatu kuso mena. Kani cha so mena. Kutu mwa shipikisha. Kutu mwa shipikisha. <laughs> you know, if you say you are a child of God without power, Wait for that time when you feel pain. When the situation will be bad. If you stick to that confession that yes, I am a child of God. If Jesus is part of your life, you can't say wanaka. He's the comforter. He will be there to say, my son or my daughter, hold your ground. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. I am with you. My name is unquestionable. My name is unstoppable. My name is King of Kings. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Emwa umefie uwa ma problems ya filwa. If we want to say that in the mwa ume. Nga valanda at panse padi awa ufuti tu alanda at in the mwa That panse. So therefore, I want you to expose that we shall never conquer it. Fear will enter your heart. But if the Holy Spirit is in you, he will raise you to say, just declare this word. You will be paralyzed outside. Are you a child of God? If you say Jesus is Lord, say it by the power of what? When you pray, pray by the power of what? It is written. But don't forget that someone can preach. This one can prophesy. I just left that you know, passage. Go and read when you go home. The first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. You go down. You discover that even prophecy is a gift. Healing is a gift. But today, there are people who cannot believe in prophecy or healing. Why? You are calling the Bible without power. You can't believe in power which is not in you. Thank you. God bless you.